After a brief pause of few weeks, Chinese models have trickling down again. It starts with Tencent's Hanjuan Video 1.5 model, which is a lightweight video generation model, which we are going to install locally in this video, and we are going to generate few videos through text. This is Fahad Mirza, and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe, and consider becoming a member, as that helps a lot. And you can see that we have been covering lots of Hanyuan model from start to end. I have been covering their model from the day one, and they have been innovating like anything. So I'm quite curious to see what improvements they have done in this new Hanyuan video model. Also, I would request you to please follow me on X if you're looking to get AI updates without any hype, without fluff. So while I speak about this model, let me get also started with installation because there is so much to install, but I will keep it simple. This is Ubuntu system, which I'm going to use. This is my GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. As per their Hugging Face card, you would need at least 14 GPU of VRAM, but we will check it out. If you're looking to rent a GPU or VM or CPU on very affordable price, you can find the link to Masked Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPU. So please do check them out. Okay, let's go back to our terminal to see if our virtual environment is created. It is. Next up, let's git clone the repo of Hanjuan video and then install all the requirements. And everything is installed. As you can see, let me clear the screen. And now you can simply run this app.py, which is going to launch a Gradio demo. And the first time when you run this, it downloads the model. And the model is huge. As you can see, 33 gig of size. I'm not even sure it would fit onto my GPU, but we will try it out. And the Wise we will upgrade to the bigger GPU. Meanwhile, let's talk a bit more around the architecture and what exactly this model is. So the model is a state-of-the-art video generation model. And as uh, far as the benchmarks are concerned, it has achieved professional-grade visual quality. At its core, it is an 8.3 billion parameter diffusion transformer architecture, which is paired with a 3D Causal Variational Autoencoder or VAE or V, which enables high quality text to video and image video synthesis on consumer grade GPUs. And we will see if that happens or not. The model uses innovative selective and sliding tile attention mechanism that intelligently prune redundant spatiotemporal computations. If you look at this diagram, it shows you Hanyuan Video's multimodal processing pipeline. The system begins with multiple input encoders where we have a multimodal large language model with token refiner for text understanding. Then we have Glyph by T5 with by T5 projector for enhanced bilingual Glyph aware text encoding. So for example, it uh, only uses Chinese and English. As far as I know, it also uses Siglip with vision projector for visual feature extraction and a V encoder with patch embedding for converting video frames into latent representations as per this pipeline. And you can already sense that the pipeline seems quite modular because all of these encoded features are fed into end dual stream blocks which uses self-attention and sparse attention mechanisms with 3D rotary positioning. Each block contains multi-layer perceptrons with residual connectors that process and refine the combined multimodal information and ultimately all of these generate coherent video sequences with proper spatiotemporal relationships and this is how the flow works where the whole video synthesis happens from a text prompt starting with a text prompt where they are describing people in meadow which i'm not showing the actual one because i think there is a youtube restriction and the pipeline processes pure noise through a base diffusion transformer that generates a low resolution feature. These features are unsampled and then combined with high resolution features via concatenation and then refined through uh, SR DIT module. And this whole iterative refinement process, which you can see from the circular arrows, it progressively denoises and enhances the latent representation. So this is all. Um, 
what this two stage approach is doing base generation followed by super resolution and this all enables efficient processing while maintaining exceptional visual quality as per the benchmarks but we will see another request please follow me on x as it helps a lot and you will get some ai updates and i would try to make them unique without just bombarding you with some sen sensational mumbo jumbo and meanwhile on the other side it is still uh, downloading and applying some patch and because they have released a lot of checkpoints so i'm just going to go with this checkpoint to, so let's see how it works let's wait for it and everything is now running let's run it in our browser at localhost port 7860 and this is where our gradio demo is running let me upload a reference image from my local system and then we will also generate a video maybe i will just upload one of my own image here and then i will just go down and i will just say it um and it can rewrite my two i'll just say a man talking into microphone looking at camera and then it can reach and you know uh, rewrite the prompt i'm good let's click on generate and it is generating the video let's check the vram consumption so it is consuming close to 15 gig of vram as you can see just over 14 gig so more or less what they have set and as it is fully loaded so i think this is a max it uses but i think even if you use around 14 gig of gpu vram it, it would it won't fail over okay so let's wait for to see how long does it take and it has generated the video under two minutes and i can already tell that you are going to have some enjoyment on my expense but let me run it yeah it's a bit weird but at least it's not that bad i think the improvement from the previous models is that the eye movement is quite improved plus i think um, it has tried to maintain the facial expressions much much better okay so let, that is good let's try out one more next up i have just uploaded this image an ai image of one of my ai models just holding a banana and then i'm asking it that a girl peeling banana and smiling there are a few advanced options which you can select but i would suggest um, just keep them as is there are a few steps you can use maybe i will just increase the steps just to increase the quality i think uh, normally 20 steps are fine in comfy ui but let's go with 20 here and this is sfg how much it follows the prompt i'm just going to increase it so that it is the prompt following is better and let's now generate the video let's wait for it and it is the more steps the more um, guidance you would increase the more time it is going to do but the quality is uh, improved so let's see how much improvement it does and supposedly vram consumption also goes up in this case i think it has really tried to make it efficient you can see that it has hasn't jumped much really which is quite good normally with as you increase the steps and guidance and few other parameters it just goes up but in this case it is just staying there it is going to take a bit of a time i will wait and then show you when it finishes uh, meanwhile please like the video and subscribe it doesn't really cost you anything and if you really want to do me a favor not only please become a member of the channel plus uh, follow me on x as that helps a lot thank you and there you go the video is here let me play it for you so you see the facial expressions are not bad at all i mean yes there is a bit of um, improvement which could be definitely made in terms of teeth because it really maybe makes it more funny but it is not malformed which is a cool thing and a huge improvement from the previous models also for some reason the size of banana gets a bit uh, larger but that is fine if you look at the hands they are also not that bad in this case i mean not all the you know fingers are visible 
and if you start nitpicking uh, then of course there might be some issues but i think overall it has tried to maintain the original image plus it has added and enhanced few other things you see a bit of a lighting is there on the face which is not here okay pretty good i think results are pretty good next up i'm going to do a bit hard one so you, i have given it this clock image and i'm asking it to move the clock hands to show 345 so right now it is 10 10 and i have increased the steps to max 50 and guidance also to 5 let's generate it to see uh, what it produces and it is going to take i think 15 minutes as you saw the previous one with around 20 steps it took around 10 minutes so i've increased it to 50 that means it is going to go over 20 minutes or so so i will wait and then we'll show you the result and if you are wondering about vram it is just staying at over just over 15 gig and after 20 minutes it has come back and you can see that when i run it it doesn't really uh, do much just moves this hand and this is the actual prompt it has used in Chinese. I have translated it and it translates actually correctly that it points to this and the hour hand points to three and the minute hand points to nine. But in the actual video, it really doesn't follow. Whereas we already have done the prompt guidance to the maximum and the steps are maximum. Anyway, still I think a long way to go for this video modality. Models I must especially for Tencent. Let me know what do you think. Again, please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member. Plus, please follow me on X as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.